Howdy Husky fans, for the last time this season, it's Tyler Hartung here with Kevin Dowd inside Heckhead Pavilion. Uh, the Huskies lost to UCLA on Thursday night, 91-82, but they beat the USC Trojans this afternoon, 82-75 on Senior Day. We got plenty of highlights. Let's check them out. Here's CJ Wilcox getting free off the screen and hitting the long two for his first bucket of the game. Jordan Adams had a career night for the Bruins as he nails the jumper here for two of his career-high 31 points. Then it's Adams again, corralling the miss on the offensive glass and getting the put pack despite being fouled. Huskies leading 43-41 at this point and would take a four-point lead into the second half. Next it's Nigel Williams-Goss finding Darren Johnson open in the corner for three and he gets fouled for the four-point play opportunity, but the free throw is no good. UCLA on top by three now. UW looking for a way to stay in the game with less than two minutes left, but here it's Zach Levine grabbing the steal and taking it to the rack through the contact to seal the victory for the Bruins as they take this one from Washington by a score of 91-82. On to the next game with the USC Trojans in the house. It's Williams Goss dishing to Sean Kemp Jr. for the wide open dunk under the basket. Then it's Wilcox ripping the steal, running the break, and finding Andrew Andrews for the and one lay-in. Andrews finished with 19 points on the day, UW's second leading scorer only to CJ Wilcox. Kemp had a nice dunk earlier and here we get to see him do it again as Nigel hits him with the pass for the breakaway throwdown. Huskies on top, 43-37. In his final home game, CJ Wilcox had 24 points with three of them coming right here on the open three-pointer. More like 3J Wilcox. The UW really locked in on defense in the second half as Blackwell swats the shot away here and it turns into an and one layup for CJ on the other end. Washington leading by 16 now. But the Trojans hung around to the end as Nikola Jovanovic hits the runner while being fouled to bring USC within eight points. But not to worry Husky fans as the UW put the Trojans away for good on this jam by Desmond Simmons with less than 30 seconds left in the contest and win this one over USC 82-75, sending the seniors out in style. So there we go, lost to the UCLA Bruins 91-82, beat the USC Trojans 82-75 to wrap up the season for the Washington men's basketball team. So Kevin, if you had to grade the Husky season this year, what would you give it? No, that's a good question, and I think I'd have to give it a B- minus overall B -minus, for the okay. year. Uh, first instinct is probably to go a little bit lower than that, uh, but I mean, the, just looking at the personnel that they got on the team, it, there wasn't the team's not going to win 14 games in conference and go. I mean, after after I guess after non-conference play, I would have gone much lower than B minus. But they, they, you know, turned it around here, get to nine and nine in conference play, which uh, as one uh, an, an ESPN writer named Kevin Pelton, Kevin, if you're watching this, uh, enjoy, uh, tweeted out that this would have been the uh, the seventh best season that Marv Harshman ever had at the UW wow. out of his 15 seasons. So it's kind of a little bit of perspective there of what uh, what Romar has done to raise the expectations around here in the last few years. So the Husky season gets a B minus, but one player who definitely deserves a higher grade than that is C.J. Wilcox. He played his last game today, and he was asked about uh, what that what that meant to him in his post game press conference today. Uh, just a real special moment. Uh, happy I was able to share with my family and they were able to get on the floor and you know, stand where I stand, you know, play. So it was really special in that regard. But uh, yeah, I told myself I wasn't gonna get emotional, so made sure that didn't happen. So as we said before, it was senior night tonight to wrap up the basketball season, and it was C.J. Wilcox's last game here at Heckhead Pavilion. He went out with a bang, 24 points, 8 rebounds, finishes as UW's second leading scorer in history. So Kevin, what stands out the most about C.J.'s career? I mean, what really stands out is that it's feel like he's been here for about a decade already. It's kind of <laughs> kind of crazy that he's still around, but no, what really will stand out the most is just, I mean, watching him shoot three pointers and shoot shoot in general. It's a pretty fun experience to get to watch him play, and it's it's, it's fun being in Heckhead when he starts to get going and if he makes a three or two, and when he gets open and you know the crowd kind of you can feel the noise start to build, and then he puts up the shot and everyone gets all excited. But it's 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 fun watching him shoot. That is that's what I remember the most. Yeah, he's got a sweet stroke for sure. But yeah. uh, he got most of the attention today, but definitely not a Alone. Paris Blackwell, yeah. he's a transfer, only played one year here, but it was a solid year for him nonetheless. So what are you going to remember about him? What do you think he brought this season? For sure. Well, yeah, I mean, Blackwell came up from San Francisco, so I mean, a, a step up in, in the caliber competition for him. And that, you know, that showed at times. He certainly isn't the, not the most athletic guy out there on the floor. He's not the, he's not dominating guys with his physicality and, you know, out jumping them and stuff. But I mean, the Huskies, if they didn't have him this year at forward, they would've, it would have been a long season. He was I mean, putting up double doubles 
feel like every other game. Uh, killer on the offensive glass. Mm -hmm. He's uh, not, not the most visually impressive player a lot of the time, but he did some, some really good things for the Huskies yeah. this year. So it was the last home game for the Huskies, but they've still got the Pac-12 tournament coming mm -hmm. up this Wednesday. So, Kevin, what's going on with that? What do you see happening there? Well, I mean, obviously the most important games of the season for the Huskies are going to have to win four and four days to make the NCAA tournament. But it'll start on Wednesday at noon. We know that. They're going to be either the eight or the nine seed, uh, probably playing Utah or Stanford or Cal, one of those teams. By, by the time you guys are watching this, you'll, you will know, but we don't yet. But So, I mean, that's, looks, that'll be a winnable game if the Huskies play well, as, uh, as Romar was saying afterward here. If they, like if they, they, don't, they don't have to shoot 70% to beat these teams. Uh, a lot of the teams in the conference just have to play well, and they can. But one team that they might have to shoot 70% to beat is Arizona, and that is who the Huskies would get in their second game if they are lucky enough to, to advance out. So that'll be a big one. If, I mean, if, if the Huskies are playing on Friday, they'll, they'll have a decent shot at, at going all the way, but the odds of that aren't, aren't so great at the moment. So that's it for the 2013-24 season here. Huskies finished with the record of 17-14, and 9-9 and nine in the conference, pulling it up to 500 here at that last win over USC. And that's all we've got here for you guys this season. So for the last time in the Husky Highlight Show, I'm Tyler Hartung. He's Kevin Dowd. As always, thank you guys very, very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.